Hey everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, just thought I'd do a little bit of a report more than a, a reaction on the uh, the game this morning. Uh, ended up Wolves 1, Villarreal B, uh, 2, a late goal for them. And it was it's not pre-season friendly, it's a practice match. Uh, Wolves played in their training gear. Uh, Villarreal B, I believe, got promoted to the, uh, the Spanish second division. Someone will put me... Uh, right or wrong on that I do believe. It was a very interesting game, it was basically played around about midday in Spain, um, around about 33 degrees heat, 40 degrees apparently it felt like, very very humid um, and it's all about giving a lot of other players uh, game time. The most familiar faces that you would have seen starting the game uh, was uh, basically Connor Cody and uh, Bolly and uh, Luke Kundal played in midfield uh, Connor Ronan also played in midfield and they started with a, a back three Wolves against uh, Villarreal. Uh, it's fair to say that Wolves dominated the uh, the first half of the uh, of the match, which were 35 minute matches, not full uh, 45 minute matches, and created the uh, much the better chances, some slick interchange, it was very, very good. You have to say that the majority of the team made up were under 23s, you didn't see the likes of Neves, Moutinho or you know any of those near the starting lineup. I think Connor and Bolly obviously started because they didn't play the majority of the game against Besiktas. Um, so it was back three and Wolves pretty much dominated, uh, did really really well. Uh, in the second half Villarreal changed the air entire 11, um, fresh legs, whether they were the stronger part of the squad, I don't know. Wolves continued with the same team, but they tweaked their formation. They went from a, a back five to a back four, and uh, Villarreal, it's fair to say, they had the better of the second half. They uh, Wolves first, the, the goal that Wolves scored actually was a, in the first half was a fantastic goal. Uh, Yerson Mascara heading home from a, a wonderful free kick, a beautiful. Uh, delivery of a ball from Conor Ronan and, and Mascara had, had a couple of other chances earlier on but the delivery uh, of Conor Ronan, I'll come more on to him in a little bit, um, his delivery from set pieces is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the second half, um, Villarreal B had an, a, a, an open goal, they got in and he hit it over the ball and it was easy to score and then just after that they got a player in, he got the shot away and, and Mascara leaned on the player a bit and the uh, the ref gave uh, the penalty, they, uh, they scored the penalty but only just in off the post um, and then it was kind of like settled down, um, Villarreal having the better of the possession but Wolves had a, a you know, playing in that heat pretty much with the whole of the squad, didn't really make many changes at all. Um, if any, I can't remember if they made, if they made, if they made any changes actually uh, throughout the whole game, I can't remember, but I don't, don't think they did, but they played uh, and obviously they, they were starting to tire with the heat, Villarreal's fresher legs, saying that Wolves got into an absolutely golden opportunity um, with about five minutes of the match to go to make it 2-1, got to the byline, um, I think it was Hugo Bueno that got to the byline, knocked it across Cobano from about four yards out hit it over the bar with the gut, the, the, it was a literal open goal, he was falling back but really should have scored and then pretty much virtually in the last couple of minutes Villarreal got in uh, on the left hand side but it was a mistake from Bolly and it was a tap over and for, you know they, they managed to actually convert from two yards. Uh, what do we take away from this? Lots of minutes, um, for, <coughs> excuse me, lots of minutes for uh, all the players that haven't played as much uh, very interesting to see that we started with the back three and we switched to the back um, to the back four. We did settle down a little bit. Um, who, who impressed me? Hodge played quite well, I thought. Um, I thought Cabano and did really quite well, but he should have scored. Um, but the standout player of the match for me was Connor Ronan. He was springing 40, 50 yard passes around like there were nothing. He looked very impressive and. He's been out on loan an awful lot. I'd like to see him part of the uh, the Wall squad. I think he's earned it. He's he's a real talent. You would forget how talented he is, and um, he would be my standout player. Very much in, in, in you know deserves it to be part of the squad. What happens now? Well, the Wolves uh, players, coaching staff will travel back. I'm not wouldn't be surprised if some of the Portuguese travel over to see you know to, back to Portugal. Um, to see their families before Wolves will have a couple of days 
two or three days in Compton before they then do fly out uh, for those two friendlies in Portugal. Uh, the main one being against Sport in Lisbon. That will come exactly a week before the start of the season. It's going to be a proper test. And of course, we wait to see how um, you know the, how bad the minor injury to Raul is. Whether there's any more players coming in and all the transfer speculation will start again. But yeah, that's my report on that. Leave your thoughts if you watch it on the uh, the YouTube channel. Uh, how have you felt about Wolves pre-season up until this point? Leave it down in the comments. Smash a like on the video. And if you're brand new, please consider subscribing. Until the next one, I'm Dazzling Dave. Always Wolves.